All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Seopolis. Guys, between this episode and last episode, we actually had a live stream where we cleaned up this area, got it looking a lot better, uh, fixed quite a few things. We moved all of our mechanism machines down here. We got flux points. We set up marble. Oh my goodness, it was a great stream. If you guys missed it, I'm terribly sorry about that. Make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're notified when I go live. As you notice, everything over here has been moved as well. Uh, if we come on back here, yes, our... Our prismarine setup is gone, and so is our overworld matter sifting. And there's this random chest here. Hmm, what could this be? Well, if you want to know, here's all of our overworld matter. We have uh, 4,200 blocks here. Uh, so we can take a bunch of this and throw it into this guy, and we can start to process up some more of the prismarine so that this guy can start running again. Oh, we've hit the limit of that. That's why it's not running. All right, guys, so some time has passed since our last clip. I have been hard at work getting some materials. I had to go ahead and set up a temporary system here. Uh, th this is temporary. Don't don't worry too much about it. Uh, but, yeah, we just have our overworld matter being uh, sifted through. I uh, just wanted to get that iron process back up so I could get some iron because we have been burning through it like crazy making these different machines. These machine frames... Oh my goodness, guys, they cost so much iron. Like, But anyway, I digress. Today, like I said earlier, we're going to be getting into the whole autom automation part of this. And this is what we got. So we have three, really two different things we're going to be working on. Uh, here we're going to be setting up the permanent solution for processing the raw or the advanced the improved and the basic processors from refined storage and then we have the automatic processing that we're going to be using from mechanism now we do have five enrichment chambers and five smelting factories and five auto compressors this thing is going to be crazy and we're going to be using an input and output chest that way we don't have to worry too much about it now the other thing i want to go ahead and do later on is convert this to have three of these guys running at all times so we'll be working on that in a little bit. And then we're also going to be changing up the crafting recipe for that. You guys left some great suggestions in the last video about basically, instead of just doing the, the 25, 1, and 1, uh, it to basically multiply that a few times. Like I've heard some of you multiply it by 4. And that way you're making 100 uh, overworld matter every single time that you're you're doing this instead of just the 20 like I'm doing. So we're probably going to switch over to that today. So this means we'll be making more, which means we'll be able to uh, support more of these guys going. But let me clear this out and we'll get this party parted. Okay, so here is our canvas. Very cool. Um, you know, let's have a look here. This is where we're going to be pumping items out into we need an exporter okay so we need a few building blocks as well i'm gonna grab some clay yes okay so we want this to be pretty close to the top here um probably there yes okay come over here build up one exporter We'll do this. All right, so we're starting out strong. Now we also need a crafting card. I forgot to grab that. All right, what the crafting card does, if you guys don't know, it allows the system to craft it or craft the overworld matter when it needs it in order to export it. So we're kind of cheating the system there. If we look, this should be crafting up. Yes, sir. And it's saying, hey, we don't have any of the, any of the overworld matter in our system, so we need to go ahead and craft it so we can export it. So it goes, hey, you system here, you craft that. And so it crafts it and then export it, exports it, and then it's just a, an infinite loop. So pretty, pretty neato, huh? All right, so the next thing we're going to do is have that guy there. And then we're going to get the logistical transport cables, like so. And we're going to be, oops, not that, pulling items out. And like I said, I want to have this eventually to a 3x3. Three three. Uh, so we are going to kind of set it up like it's eventually going to be one. All right. And then configure that to items to pull out. There we go. Can we reach that from here? We can. All right, now we have a mesh put into there. Yep, we should start to see the beautiful items flowing. Perfect. Okay. All 
All right. There we go. So that's going to provide power to these guys here once they're ready to go. Look, this one's already cranking stuff out. And then for this one, because we don't have a, like a cool system for these to go into, we're actually going to import these directly into our, um, our refined storage system. So we'll do this here, this here, and we'll set up the exporters. Or sorry, the importers, just like this. All right, and then we can just route this bad boy down. Route this bad boy down. Okay, so now those are online. Should be pulling items out, putting them into our system. Perfect. Okay, so that part is a working. Now we might have to change this up just a little bit. Um... Because if we try to put an exporter, um, can we do that on the same block? No, we can't. Hmm. That makes it interesting. Okay, I believe I found a way around it. Now, we aren't going to have the full five that I wanted, but I don't believe we need that much. Uh, so now we can come back here and put a, an exporter here. And an exporter on top, right? There we go. But how do we get the items out? Because it needs to flow. Okay, so I don't think this is the right way to go. Um, but I do think something like that will work. Like if we do something like this instead. Now the reason I'm doing this is I want to have everything there, uh, including the processing system, including the the smelting, the enriching and smelting. Those can be on top of each other, so we don't really need to worry about that. Um, so let's give that a try, actually. Oh, you go there. All right, smelting is on the bottom. All right, and the enrichment chamber. is on top like that. And so we'll have the export down below. That'll work out nice. Okay, so we get rid of this cable. And this one. Good, okay, so now we can, where's my logistical cable? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So it looks like we only have one that isn't upgraded. That is perfectly okay to me. All right, and the reason we're doing it like this is so that we can have just the items we want to get processed through here. We just set them up on the exporters and then this thing will take care of the rest. Now we'll upgrade all of these to the, the max tier, the cool purple one uh, eventually. And so we'll have a bunch of different areas for them to work. Uh, but for now we can just Upgrade them up to the green tier, so now we have three in each. Just hit the sorting on, and we are off to the races. Okay, so the items get exported into there. We'll go ahead and set that up now. So exporter, bam, bam. They get exported in here, get pulled into there, put in, and then uh, our system will process, or these guys will process them, turn them into ingots for us, and then put them into the system. So there we go. That is that is actually not half bad looking. Yeah, that is not half bad. Enriching. Wait a second. How? Okay, those had lingering power. I thought they were getting power through the cable, and I was about to be really excited because, unfortunately, with the setup like this, we do have to go into the back and chisel out each one of those to receive power through the back which you know isn't a big deal but it's just something you know we have to do all right so these things are powered now uh we just have some cables running through the back uh i just went ahead i didn't connect these up i just gave them another flux point there and a flux point here so now these things are basically on their own power i have four different flux points here so we can keep the back looking as clean as possible so happy about that uh, but the next step is to uh, get down here and convert all of these into 
uh, or not really convert all these, but uh, get the importers on all of these. Uh, so we got five left. Okay, so temporarily, until we do the wireless thing with, uh, well, well, we'll just do that. Why? Because it doesn't look all that bad, and I don't really want to have to run the wireless guy down here just for one thing. Okay, so that is now hooked on up, which is great, because that means when we seal that up that these guys just need to be configured, and the items need to be set, and this thing is good to go. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So input up the top, output out the bottom. Input up the top, output out the bottom, eject on, okay. All right, so each of these have been configured. This is still running, going, I mean, it looks like it's working fantastically. So let's go ahead and grab some of the dust here. We'll start with, uh, with nickel. And uh, actually, we just want the nickel. We don't want that. And then we'll grab copper and gold, and we'll try this out. So, let's see here, copper, gold, nickel, and it should, there we go, yep, and it's being processed in, auto sort on, yes sir, alright, so it is auto processing those guys, copper, nickel, and, and uh, gold, so now we can do platinum, lead, Silver, uranium, osmium, and then we'll do zinc. All right. So one, two, three. And then one, oh, not these guys. Not there. Here. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, so zinc being the last one. We got some tin here. Tin's going to be important. And then iron is also going to be extremely important. And then we'll grab the cobalt for that one as well. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so those will be this three over here. And if we get any more, you know, we can just add them on. So that'll look great. But yeah, um, it's rolling. It's 100% automatic. We don't have to do anything. We just sit here, relax, and watch it go. So theoretically, these two are going to be the overflow, just in case one of these is, you know, clearly it, it, it's, it, it's not fast enough to keep up with it, which is perfectly okay. Maybe we don't have sort on the bottom ones. Yeah, I think we turn sort off on the bottom one so that they just go into their respective area. That way they keep it up. Okay, perfect. Yeah, these are all working. Good to go. We can go ahead and we don't really have to worry about that anymore. But guys, it's all good. Man, this is cool. It's kind of uh, industrial looking. So what we can go ahead and do is, you know, there are a couple of these that we don't need anymore. Like this one isn't even processing anything. What were you processing? Is it red sand? Oh yeah, clearly it was red sand. Okay. All right, so let's take a look here real quick because uh, I do have the other two auto sieves made up. There we go. I mean, they don't have any meshes in them. And those two are the exact same. We'll have to go ahead and change that up. But we'll have to just, you know, get some meshes in there. I eventually will upgrade them all the way to uh, netherite, which is the goal. Um, so let's go ahead and get the other meshes created. So here we go. Netherite is the end. String mesh. Cool. Oh, man. We need, we need a lot of these, don't we? Okay, now we have enough for the flint meshes here. Let's 
Let's go ahead and make another one. Bam. Okay, so we're up to flint already. Uh, iron is just pouring the iron blocks in. How much iron do we got? We have enough for it. Cool beans. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this created here. We're going to turn that off. We're going to chuck some iron in. We don't need to throw all of the iron in. Cool thing is it's all automated, so we don't have to worry about the iron. <laughs> so awesome. Don't have to go make any more or have to, you know, make any more overworld matter. We just create it when we need it. Or actually, we just use it when we need it. It just gets made. It's so cool. All right, there we go. One iron mesh has been created. There it is. And we do have some extra iron. We're going to also automate the induction smelter so we can create the alloys, which is what I'm excited about. So that'll be amazing. All right, so the second one has been done. Cool. And to get rid of those, the rest of the iron in there, we'll just do that. All right, so two iron meshes. Good to go. Now, the diamond ones, as we remember, were a little tricky. Uh, we don't even have enough of these guys. Okay, so we're going to have to get some more going. And then to make these, we need this guy, who is iron, redstone, and copper. All right, so we load up the red alloy. Cool beans. Those are still in there, which is nice. Got another 12 already. Well, we could, there's also a pretty easy way to automate this with like pipes and stuff like that. We'll just automate this little setup here, and it'd be super duper easy. So like a chest here, chest here, be great. All right, we have enough to upgrade one of them now to diamond. I believe we have everything. Yep, well, we need the red alloy. Jeepers, Scoob. Okay, so let's get the two of those made up. And we don't have any more diamonds. So I went ahead and created some invisible item frames from Tinker's Construct. And the reason I did that is so that we can put the plate here to know that, hey, this is where we make the plates. And then here to know that, hey, this is where we make the gears. So uh, eventually when we need to be able to differentiate between the two, it'll be a lot easier to. Okay, so let's get this second one started here. So we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right, so 16, and then we just need a couple more. We can actually do two at a time. So the only way to make these redstone flux coils is through the tinker system, which is kind of a bummer. But, uh, you know, we can automate this. It'd be pretty easy to take two ingots for one of these. So there is a way to automate it, but uh, we won't be able to use that, unfortunately. Or we will be able to use that. So, ta-da. All right, then we do have a second induction smelter back here. This one's already done. Let's... Not do this one. Okay, and then to upgrade to the emerald tier, we need eight osmium blocks. We got nine there. We definitely need some more. We can just toss these in real quick. Where is the osmium area? Hmm, osmium is being processed. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to wait for the osmium to process, or we can speed it up. Like so. Alright, we do have the ability to make one now. Yes. Perfect. Okay, so this guy goes in. Shabang and lang. This, this one takes forever to do. Uh, so we will need to let that one process up. And then all we need is the osmium for that. And it's all being melted up over here. Which we don't want that. How much we got? We got the eight blocks. So we're going to go ahead and just leave that be. Let that be on. Alright guys, so both of our emerald meshes have been 
Oh, we go down. Have been finished. And here we go. Look at that. We have three of these guys moving along. So cool. We can even speed them up there so they're getting lots of resources. Look at all of that. Oh, man. I'm excited. Just means more to go in here. Oh, man. Look at that. We're filling up crazy. So we're going to need to start producing some upgrades for those guys. Cool thing is because we are producing so much we can go ahead and start crushing the um let's see where's the crusher at we're gonna start to crush the gold because this is what we use to make the uh, efficiency upgrades which we're gonna use those to you know make our system more efficient before it gets faster because otherwise it's ugh, ugh, ugh. well you don't want to do that man trust me just trust me you don't want to do that all right, so we do have all of the efficiency upgrades in here. As you can see, it's only using 8 TFE per tick, uh, but we want to go to the one that has iron in it. And, oh no. We need to produce iron. Oh, we're not producing iron. Frick. Okay, so we definitely need to upgrade this one. And we'll do this one, but two on here. And that way, this will start to produce faster. We'll clear this up. Yep, we do have iron in here, which is fantastic. Put that there. Iron's processing up. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to be working on uh, being AFK for a bit, you know, just letting this thing run. We'll catch up, get a bunch of stuff. It needs to go through all of our materials. So I think a huge AFK session is in session. So we'll see what's going on there. And we'll probably cut back before that session is done uh, just so we can, uh, you know, finish up some other automation stuff. Oh, but KB dudes. So a little bit of time has passed. I got these guys all upgraded to the advanced enriching factories. I have turned off sorting on all of these so it stops doing this because if we look here, yeah, these are all osmium. And I'm like, hey, you're hogging all the spots. But that's okay. Because, I mean, iron will eventually get into there. And then, like, the big one is cobalt, which is taking up a lot of the space. I mean, it's taking up so much. But, you know, that's okay. This whole setup is uh, pretty much good to go. Uh, the only thing I need to upgrade left are these guys. We're going to max these guys out eventually. Uh, but now we need to worry about the next part of our episode, uh, which is dealing with the redstone furnaces. You know, I want to automate these patterns again, have these, ha like, have a designated spot for these to go. We won't, uh, like, if we move them, we all keep it together. And I'm pretty sure we're going to put it right here in this corner. Uh, but that does mean we got to move this guy, which is our marble producing area which we made in stream which was really neat wish you guys were there if you missed it sorry about that you can always watch the next one we will be streaming again very soon probably this weekend i might be streaming tonight because it's friday for you guys Ooh. okay so we can go ahead break this we're going to be swapping on all the walls eventually with the marble and then changing the floor to dark oak and it's really going to make this area pop so i'm super excited about that but we will take this and da, 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 boom, put that there. Now we should have a bunch of marble. Hello? Oh, there you are, marble. Hello. Okay, so get rid of these guys. Igneous extruder. And we shouldn't really need anything other than what we have. We might need a little bit more refined storage cable, so we'll go ahead and grab some. Okay. So we're basically going to be running a cable across the ceiling there. So let's grab our handy dandy clay block. I don't know why I'm I'm scaffolding with this. Don't ask, because I don't know. If you ask, there's your answer. I have no worldly idea. Okay. So we're going to take this guy down. Okay. Perfect. So let's grab these doohickeys here and I think a good idea honestly would be to have actually four of these set up with the crafters you know pointing at them uh, and then we'll expand this going upward uh, later what are you doing wrong way dude uh, later so that 
we can put like our induction furnace, our induction smelter, stuff like that here. So we don't really have to move anything. So yeah, very cool. Um, we're going to be powering it in, or we're going to be receiving it in the, the rear there and then powering it on the side. Yes, powering it on this side. All right, so we're going to do the cable really fast. <clears throat> Stop the bouncing. Okay, so there's power. We'll put like a little power tap on these guys. Looks like I'm going to need to make one more for the other side. I know it's crazy. We just have it for that. Okay, so we're going to set this up. So the input is on the right and the output is on the back. Input on the right, output on the back. There we go. Input on the left, output on the back. Perfect. All right, we'll grab those dudes. Place this guy here. And then you, hither, hither. And then we got to take our cable. Place that there. Booyah, check it out, dudes. It's working. We actually don't need this one right here because it connects up. But yeah, very, very cool. That is all connected and ready to rock. It should, our system should see it if we are able to. Um, I don't believe we have something like that here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those items in here or the, the patterns. So we'll grab these guys, and then you there, you there, and you here. And that should mean that the process for that, the process to craft the processors should be good to go. Okay, we're missing slime. Hmm, we're gonna need a way to automate the slime, huh? Hmm, maybe it's time we get into the caged entities because we do have slimes dropping all the time. And you can make it into a hopping. All right, shining block of diamond is just smelted up that. All right, obsidian and blaze wood, which is molten blaze over, looks like nether woods. Yeah, another woods, okay. Compressed cobble, okay. Maybe this is something we work on next episode. Uh, we're not wrapping it up, don't worry about it. Worry. We've got a little bit more to do. Uh, we gotta put some speed upgrades in the hither. Oh, we didn't grab the speed upgrades. We'll grab this guy. All right, speed upgrade there, and then I think we're actually just gonna go ahead and start setting up the other guys here as well. Um, I think we'll work on the plates, because the plates are our enemy. Okay, so plates are gonna go in like a so. All right, we're gonna be receiving from the left, exporting out the right, and then we will put this guy here, just so we know that this is the one with the plates in it. Perfect. All right, so the only limiting factor is the amount of crafters we have. Yes, we are out. What about a flux point? Can we make another one of these? We're missing the obsidian. Where do we have our blast chiller at? Wouldn't be a bad idea down below, but I believe we have it here. Yes, sir. We're gonna put a flux point on that as well. Maybe, maybe. Do we want to put a flux point on that? I don't know. Oh no, we're out of the Eye of Ender. Oh no. Good thing we got four more here. <laughs> okay, so get that here. Booyah, okay. So we got the flux point. We can go ahead and add that here for power. All right, so all of the plates that we need are now able to be automated there, which is amazing. Uh, so let's get some more patterns from refined storage. All right, we got three more. Perfect. That's all we need. Cool. So iron plate 
Should be able to go like this. All right, and then it goes, hey, one iron makes the iron plate. Bam. Look at the electrum plates. And then bam again. I think those are all really all the plates that we're making. I'd really like to... Oh yeah, we need to put the plate guys here. So that's now an option. Very good, very good. And then let's turn this guy into a pattern because this dude, I have made so many of these and I really don't want to have to make any more. Uh, oh, this needs to be a crafting recipe. All right, we got some there. Okay, so then the induction smelter is going to be another one, and then the other guy. All right, multi-servo press. We're going to do the other one right above it, like that, and then the induction smelter right there. So we'll do other crafters here. Uh, let's get the item frame up like that for gears, and then we'll put the gear here. So yeah, all the gears will be processed through here, all the plates are going to be processed here, and then all the alloys are going to be processed through here. Very cool. So we just need two more of those. So let's see. Do we have everything? Yeah, like, it would be super cool. Okay, what was the, what did that say? Ah, uh, we don't have the bronze gear. Okay, so this is something we're going to have to do a little bit manually for the time being. Uh, so let's grab that here. We'll work on... I'll, I'll, work, I'll set up most of these off camera. Or in a stream. A stream would be really cool to set all these up in. Okay, so we got those gears. Um, we have the ability to make four of those. So, oh, we need the redstone, or the iron, actually. 71 iron. So, yeah, like, we could put this into a pattern to make us up uh, these guys, the quartz-enriched iron, or we can make seeds, which probably would be better. All right, there we go, quartz-enriched iron. We should have enough to create a couple of these guys. Yes, sir. All right, and we're just missing a couple of these. One, two, three. And a couple of these. One, two, three. And boom. There's one crafter. We need some more. Right, let's get the let's get the gears automated for now. Pointing down, why are you like this? All right, so we'll input from the left, output out the back. Now we do need a couple more importers to finish up the automation of this. And we don't have any of those. Again, we can set up the auto crafting for that eventually. There we go, we got two of those, perfect. So the those machine frames, I should not be back here. Uh, these machine frames, yeah, these are now automated. We don't have to do anything now. Uh, as long as we have the raw materials for them, we should be able to make them. Okay, so that's being made up. We can check the progress of it. it says stored processing. Stored 6. Scheduled 20, 19... Oh, yes, it's working. I'm so excited, though. <laughs> I don't have to do it anymore. Oh, these things took so long to make. And then we'll also have to do, like, the steel one. We'll have to get steel automated. Oh, my goodness, there's going to be a lot of stuff to automate. Uh, but that is going to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. You guys are amazing. We will see you all next week. Be on the lookout for our live stream this weekend. Probably do some more automation stuff like this. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.